this project I will do a goblet wild olive and a twisted stamp let's go let's do hi everybody Aaron here today I'm going to do I'm going to use um, a very old very cracked piece of wild olive and I'm going to do a goblet out of it uh, the top uh, the cup and the uh, and the base will be out of this wild olive and the stamp will be a twisted uh, resin stamp um, very interesting very interesting the way that I done it uh, I hope that you would like it and um, let me show you step by step how how I created this uh, goblet um, First, uh, I'm going to round it down and I'm going to cylinder this piece of wood um, and then I'm going to make a, on one side, I'm going to make a tenon and uh, I'm going to hold it on the, in this tenon and tenon and I'm going to continue further with it. You will see now what I'm going to do. Every time that I stop the log from turning, you can see how cracked it is, how damaged it is. But I reckon that as I go deep in, I will find beautiful grain that olives got. Um, so I didn't want to throw this piece away. Uh, I'll find a solution for those cracks and I'm going to save it. Now that uh, now that it sits in the truck and it's sa safer, um, I square it at the at, at the end, and now I'm going to use and I'm going to uh, um, square it or um, cylinder it the size that I wanna I wanna do the goblet from. I'm going to use um, the drill to drill in the depthness that I need to do, to do for the for the cup, and then I'm going to work it. I'm going to work with my um, uh, round and uh, square uh, black line tools. But before that, um, I'm going to put um, resin, um, gel resin, black in. At the beginning, I thought I'm going to put it only on the cracks. But there are so many small cracks also. So I decided now let me put it all over the show. Um, and it will go to every crack there is there. It, it will sit inside the resin from the inside and outside. So I know it's not going to break. Um, I used, I decided to use the black color because all the veins in, in, the, in the olive is black. So it will, it will match inside. And... Um, I'm, I'm I'm quite I'm quite happy with it. I'm using here a reverse tech, a reverse turning technique. It's much easier for me um, to do it. I don't have to bend over the lathe to go to the uh, to the side, so I can actually look straight forward. And if you look inside. Um, you will see a black line. I thought at the beginning that I didn't took off the resin, but it is a crack over there, funny enough. And because of lucky enough, uh, this crack was held back by, by the resin. Setting up more or less the, the sizes of the cup and of the um, base and you will see just now what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. Now I'm starting to create the outer size, the outer shape of the of the 
of the cup um, it's going to be roundish um, the inside already been done this way so I'll, I'll keep the same um, the same shape for the inside and it will be like a roundish roundish goblet I'm going to use from uh, one, one, um, 180 all the way to 600 and then I'm going to use uh, Yorkshire grid and after the Yorkshire grid I'm going to put um, honey wax but already now you can see how beautiful is this grain of this of this olive really really it's got beautiful grain I'm so happy I decided to keep it and use it and not throw it into the fire I think also the black, uh, the black resin um, came in nicely with with the with the grain with the black grain of this wood, and and and, and it sits together nicely. Uh, now I'm parting the the um, the cup, um, and I'll put it aside in a moment. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this part, this this part of the wood as the base, uh, the bottom of the of the base. So I created um, a recess that will take my logo, and also um, it will. You'll see why I'm, I made this recess. It's a small recess, but it is a recess, and I'm going to use a very small chuck, a mini chuck. To hold it and do the shape of the of the base of the of the goblet. I'm using the diamond-shaped carbine just to take a little bit of wood away, so it will be safer and easier to put in the the um, parting tool. And now I'll take it off. Um, the speed was a little bit high, but I managed and now you see I'm using a, 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 a mini chuck um, and then I can use it to put it together on the on the base to create the shape of the base the way I want it the crack that you saw over there um, on the base, I'm going to fill it up with uh, with resin, and I'm using my vacuum uh, my vacuum uh, uh, chuck, and I'm going to uh, use the vacuum chuck to finish the end of the cup, the bottom of the cup. In my net technique, I'm also using straws, and I'm filling them with uh, with black resin. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use vacuum. I'm going to vacuum with a syringe. I'm going to vacuum the, the resin into the straws. And on one side, I'm going to put putty, turn it around. And this way, uh, I'll fold them up all the way to the top and without air bubbles whatsoever. This is the last one that I've done. And I used, uh, that was, wasn't black, that was gold. And I'll, overnight, I'll let it stand. On, and now I'll take off all the all the covers and I'll have uh, black straws you'll see those two round ones those two round ones you'll see what I do with them now I've got two chucks sitting opposite one on a revolving chuck and I put the straws inside and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put resin on the straws and the reason why I'm putting resin on the straws I'm going to twist them you will see now I'm going to twist them and the reason I put the resin on is that what is going to hold it in its place when it dries up so they will stay twisted and now a day late actually it was two days later you can take it out 
remove the remove the the, the wooden chucks that are made and start cutting and um, and also using I'm, I'm using a, um, a Dremel to machine down the the ends of the of the um, of the straws so it will sit much much easier and in the right angle it will sit when I glue it with the super glue. Um, I glued them with the super glue, but I wasn't 100% happy that it's strong enough. So what I done is I added uh, re I added clear resin, uh, UV clear resin, and this one hold it. And then when it got dry, I put uh, normal black resin just to f match it to the wood. I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, and if you did, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, uh, my tabs up, and um, don't forget, of course, to uh, re put remarks at the bottom. Thank you and have a good week.